Hello there, new year, new Lisa Eldridge. This iconic makeup artist's first launch of 2023 was a glorious group of eight gloss embrace shades. I set a middle of the night alarm so I wouldn't miss one of my favorite formulas and bought four colors, one for you too. Giveaway details later on. For the first time, the brand also got in touch and sent me some products, basically an out of body beauty experience having loved Lisa's work for years. So I now have two extras. So six of the new glosses to swatch for you and compare to existing shades and lipsticks plus more Lisa content coming. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Great to continue working with the popular website building platform this year. If you fancy a look at my Lisa Eldridge favorites or other shiny lip ideas, you can find those blog posts on matildaonvideo.com. Lisa's Gloss Embrace Lip Glosses launched in 2020, so I'm sure many of you are familiar with this fantastic formula. They made my comfortable lip gloss list last year for a reason. One of very few genuinely nourishing glosses when so many claim to be hydrating or moisturizing and might feel nice on, but don't go much deeper than that. But this is called a gloss and lip care hybrid. Wild mango kernel butter and acai berry, sunflower seed and vitamin E oils equals a truly nourishing cushiony combo and even leaves your lips feeling lightly buttery as the gloss wears away. The texture walks this wonderful tightrope between lip gloss and oil, much more substantial than a thin watery lip oil, but not as thick or sticky as an old school gloss. Just plush, smooth, intense shine. Fragrance and perfume free too. Even though I usually love chunky, couch-like doe foot applicators like Dior Lip Glow Oil, three different pigment levels in Lisa's shades mean you do need a bit more control, so the flat doe foot is satisfying to use and the tip can be more precise. The pigment scale starts with translucent shine with subtle pearls and no pigment. So that's the two new shades, Dancing Rose and Silent Sun. Then a light natural pigment level, including new sorcery, rain and blush lightly. Then medium impactful, which decade falls under. As usual, several of the gloss editions match her existing lipsticks, but two are brand new creations. Dancing Rose called out to me with rose pink, lavender and violet glittering pearls. It's quite mesmerizing. The tube sometimes looks gold, then champagne rose, then brighter pink. The pearls are in a clear base, so it's so sheer it's a little bit hard to capture on camera. The first swipe on the lips often looks like a rosy metallic, but when you spread it out, it's actually quite subtle and just like juicy shine. Silent Sun is its warmer relative with fine gold pearls swirled into a transparent base. I find this one even more subtle than Dancing Rose. The website says the pearls are only subtly discernible for a delicate, luxurious golden luster. The overall effect, healthy, hydrated looking lips. Easier to see the rosiness of Dancing Rose when you have faintly gold Silent Sun next door. Sorcery is the sister gloss to her sold out hit lipstick Velvet Sorcery last year. You'll see them side by side in a minute. This is called a cool toned earthy rose with a touch of mauve. One swipe is a sheer your lips but better look or you can build for a cool 90s effect. This has light natural pigment though so it does stay fairly sheer and is such a wearable lip enhancing sort of shade. Velvet Sorcery lipstick was gorgeous, so I knew this gloss was going to be good and grabbed an extra one to send to one of you. For details and to enter this international giveaway, head to the new Lisa Lip Gloss Reel on my Instagram, at Matilda on Video, also linked below. Decade is much more dramatic, like a gloss in its reputation era. A cool toned, syrupy chocolate that sits between brown and berry always my autumn winter color comfort zone. This has medium impactful pigment, so even one doe foot dip is much bolder. Dark glosses scare me a bit. They can be quite patchy, but as you'd expect, Lisa's formula and color is so smooth and even. Rain is kind of the Lisa gloss I'd been waiting for. She says this is a muted medium pink that instantly brightens the face with light natural pigment. Rain is also the follow up to her Velvet Rain lipstick last year and you'll see in the comparison shortly that I actually prefer the tone of the gloss. Such a great boost of colour that's not too pink and not too bright. Blush Lightly is another lipstick follow-up to Velvet Blush Lightly, which was the first spin-off shade based on Velvet Blush, also a blush gloss coming up. This is called a medium muted cool toned pink with a delicate mauve undertone and light natural pigment. Very pretty, not far off rain on my lips, but that cooler mauve heart is much more evident side by side. 
onto comparisons and colour groups. Let's see the original True Velvet lipsticks and their new Gloss Embrace Sisters. Next to the bewitching medium dusky clay rose velvet sorcery, sorcery gloss is a slightly warmer chocolate but a similar subdued lip deepening look on. Velvet sorcery is like velvet muse's moody older sister. So here's muse gloss, a neutral smoky rosewood that's lighter and rosier in this lineup. Affair was the other earthy caramel that could be part of this family but it's actually a lot warmer and toffee like and more pigmented even though it's the same light natural level as the other two. Here's Decade Gloss next to Velvet Decade Lipstick, a close friendship, maybe ever so slightly more deep chocolate brown in Vintage Velvet Decade compared to the Black Current or Blackberry of Decade Gloss. The other dark gloss options are Myth, which looks like it belongs in the rich berry colour family in the tube, but this deep mulberry applies way more purple and bright. Cinnabar is closer in spirit, even though this burnt ochre brown is obviously much warmer and more red than Decade. Rain Gloss is everything I hoped Velvet Rain would be, called a rain-soaked, muted, natural, medium pink rose. The lipstick was much more vibrant and pink than I expected, so I love the warmer, peachy red of the gloss. In Lisa's mid-pink range, Petal is a possible relative, a sheer pink kiss inspired by fluttering garden petals. Then Songbird, one of my favourites, is a light beige putty pink with a more peachy rose personality. Blush Lightly Gloss and Velvet Blush Lightly, a bitten, medium muted berry, are basically shade best friends. Very close match. Let's bring in Blush Gloss, based on Velvet Blush that Velvet Blush Lightly was based on. Hope you're still following. Blush is a flushed, natural pinky berry, only a touch warmer and stronger than Blush Lightly above. Then Beauty is more of a traditional pink and pop of vibrant rose. To recap, let's call this group the 90s supermodels. Velvet Sorcery, then Glosses Sorcery, Muse and Affair, the moodier Reputation Era, Velvet Decade, and Glosses Decade, Myth and Cinnabar, a Spring Fling with Velvet Rain, and Glosses Rain, Petal and Songbird, and a Rose Garden group of Velvet Blush Lightly with Glosses Blush Lightly, Blush and Beauty. I can't believe how much Lisa's brand has grown. It's not that far off a complete makeup collection now. So if you want to hear the highlights, you can find my favourite products in a blog post on matildaonvideo.com. I created my website using a Squarespace template and tweaked the design to match the minimal aesthetic of my channel. I'm planning to give the site a new look this year, so I'm glad all of the editing tools are user-friendly and intuitive so it won't be a daunting design project at all. If you're setting up a website or blog, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. I wonder what else Lisa launches this year. I'm sure we will see the revamped enlivening blushes, maybe more seamless skin creations like concealer. What are you hoping for? As requested, I'll be working on a big Lisa True Velvet lipstick comparison at some stage this year when my skin is ready for lots of matte swatching. Thanks for watching. See you next time.